We are back in Pittsburgh. Yes. We've been here for like four days, according to Holland's calculations. I thought it had been one, but I guess. No. Nope. Yeah. So we, so now that we're back, we are trying to get into our regular scheduled things. And Holland's been taking some dance classes. Been working out. Been working out. I have been trying to recover. I have something in my legs. I think I have restless leg syndrome, which is crazy because <laughs> they're not even moving that much. If you guys have suggestions. <gasps> um, no, don't give me your suggestions. <laughs> you guys always scare me. Every single time, you guys are like, might be cancer. And I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I'm an Aries, but whatever. <laughs> Today, a group reached out to me that's like Pittsburgh based and they're influencers who want to get together and kind of, I guess it's this event that you have special access to and like special access to certain events in Pittsburgh and certain restaurants and stuff like that. And it like puts you, I don't know if it puts you together or just gives you, I don't really know what's going on. But in my head, I was like, why not do it? Because either way, it's either material for TikToks or it's a good time. So I really feel like it's a win-win. So we're gonna do that tonight. But we thought about going and doing some rock climbing. We're trying to figure out what kind of lesbian, what kind of married lesbians we are. Are we the type of married <laughs> lesbians that rock climb? I guess we'll figure it out. Yeah. So we decided to bring you guys along today. Yeah. I'm scared of everything that's happening in my life right now. What's going on? Just, just everything that I've ever thought of in my entire life I'm terrified of. The only really nice thing is that I always have love with me and I always have home, but I think I'm becoming an adult. I, can I add on to that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, piggybacking off of that, uh, I get in like moods where if I keep doing the same routine, I'm like, is this life? Is this it? Right. Is this all there is to it? And that's, it's like a very scary thought to me. No, yes. Um, and like the fact that I have to like plan to go rock climbing. Like it's not a kid anymore where you're just like, you're just being taken to these places and life's crazy and fun. And now you have to like be intentional about your time. And it's very weird. Noon is a weird time for me now. Yeah. I think it's tough with mental health too, because you realize like, um, I mean, when you're younger, it's like, or when you're in school, like you have obligations to go to that kind of keep you yeah, in line and keep you with something to do. And now you have to like actively seek out new hobbies. Like nobody talks about this, but like not a lot of adults have hobbies outside of drinking. <laughs> and so I think that with sobriety and like with growing up and like creating our life and um, developing new hobbies. It's like a weird little process of having to be intentional. Yes. Very intentional. Uh, like I have my mornings planned out and I kind of have my nights planned out, but the midday is so long. Like if I'm not editing a video or helping you with something, it's like, what do I do? Yeah. And it's not like I want to be busy all the time, but some that like weird downtime where I'm like, uh -huh. okay, I guess I'll just think about what I'm going to make for lunch. Yeah. I think mine is more of like with work since I do like, it's all remote. It's almost like, I feel like this obligation to always be working, but sometimes I simply don't have stuff to work on. Like we're not working on a new drop or we're not dealing with like doing customer service. And so I feel like there's this weird, like lol. Yeah. And then, and then like doing stand up comedy. Like I feel like I write stand up comedy and then, you know, I'm like, okay. It's just, it, sometimes I feel like it's, I just catch myself in working so much towards the future that it's like, okay, but like we still have to enjoy now. It's a very on edge feeling. Yeah. It's like, I can't, it's like, you can take a nap and then maybe go on a walk. Like you can keep it simple sometimes instead of drowning. I, yes. I saw some advice that, um, that said somebody was talking about how they felt so burnt out and they said, 
if you, if in your downtime, you're thinking about things that you need to do, or you're like, even at all, I'll give you an example. Like if in my downtime, I'm watching a TV show and I'm thinking like, oh, that could be a, something great to work off of for stand up. Like that's not resting. No. And so now I'm confused when the last time I've ever rested is. I need to get medicated. Um, <laughs> not that I, uh, I don't have the same job as you. I'm actually jobless, but I spend my free time like editing the videos and working on the website and what else do I do? I don't know. You dance all the time. I do, I do things like that. And so, um, which can be very busy. Like it, sometimes it takes me hours. So I've like s scheduled down a certain time, like let's say 11 to two. And like, I'm like very, I try to be very productive. And then it makes my downtime feel like downtime. I'm like, oh, okay. I can like not think about that. I finished my to-do list and now I can do whatever. But I don't know. Then you get into that weird like noon feeling where it's like, what do I do with myself? I think we need to be kind to ourselves and realizing that like you just, you just finished your contract with this job. So like we are in a very transitional period. And I think that a lot of people who are switching jobs or may have lost a job or blah, blah whatever it might be, feel that way. Like almost like there's too much time. Am I doing enough? There's not enough time at the same time. Yes. Um, but I think that getting hobbies and like trying new things like we are doing i think that yeah i think that it's a transitional period so we really need to take advantage of this time and like you know experience things that we might not get to experience when you're dancing from nine to eight on set at places or if you're yeah. doing um backup dancing and you're on tour like i think that we'll be really thankful for this time I, so we just need to relish yeah. i think i love this time too like i, I oh okay rally back <laughs> Girl, big booty. I think I love this time though. I think I, I'm complaining or questioning, but I do love it. Like I love focusing on myself. I wake up and I read now. I'm a little reader and I read books. I read a chapter a day and then I go to the gym and then I make my breakfast and like I go get caught. Like I have a very, I like what I do. Yeah. And I like filling my day with things that I like doing. Yeah. I, I'm happy. I think I just wanted to explain. No, good for you. You deserve, people, you, if you're out there, you can complain about anything and everything. Sometimes it's your it's life, just, okay? Just good to question. And that's therapy. Yeah, check in, check out. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's get started with the day. Let's see what it has to offer. I'm getting hungry and it's only, uh, what time is it? How about I make my wife a sandwich? 11, 18. I think I want a smoothie bowl. I'll make my wife a smoothie bowl. I won't. <laughs> I won't be involved in that. Oh my gosh. Do you guys want me to teach you how to make my smoothie bowl? Smoothie bowl transition! Let's go! Are we doing rock climbing? Yeah, we're doing rock okay, climbing. Okay, I'll sign the wafers. Okay, smoothie bowls and wafers. <laughs> and wafers. <laughs> Go! Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to make the smoothie that I make a lot of the time. Okay, a lot of the time. I tried to film this one time, but we ended up not using that vlog. And so I feel like I've told everyone how to make this smoothie bowl eight times. Oh, eight times, but really, I haven't told you yet. I did it once on TikTok, but the one time I did it on TikTok, the consistency did not turn out right at all. So let's see if I get it right today. So you're gonna grab your blender. This blender is not really the best. I do have to dangerously use a spoon to mix it while it's blending. I don't suggest that, but it was 30 bucks. So. I have my frozen fruit which is a berry blend and these pineapple chunks. Sometimes I use pineapple, sometimes I don't. And then I usually have a frozen banana, but I just bought these and I didn't freeze them yet. So I'm only gonna use a little bit of this. And then the next thing I use is cold water, but I've been using the bloom packets and I made like a, a little green juice. And then I pour that just a little bit in at the bottom. 
Then I use a little bit of apple cider vin, very little, because it tastes gross. Um, a lot of honey, some cinnamon, and vanilla extract. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna use a lot more berries since my banana is not frozen. Then I, I'm gonna use these two pieces of pineapple chunks that I have left. Mm, I'm gonna use the whole banana because it's small. Mm, I'll take a bite. So I put about that much fruit in. And then I'm gonna take the cold bloom powder green juice and I fill it up just so that I can like see it. Then a little, little splash of the apple cider. A little dash of cinnamon. Then I do like just a little baby thing of the vanilla extract. And then lots of honey. And now it's time to blend. This is kind of what it looks like inside. Okay, I'm gonna try to film how I like mix this with the cheaper blender. smoother than my normal ones then I add my absolute favorite granola it's from Aldi and it is so good for no reason at all I also use way too much so it just I think I like the granola more than I like the smoothie okay that's that's enough so um, I'm going to eat my smoothie bowl and then you want to head there? Yeah. I'm nervous that we're going to go rock climbing and I'm just going to be bad at it. And then I'll have to lie to everyone and say that I was the best. <laughs> Every time I go, I've gone rock climbing, I'm like, I'm going to be so good. Yeah. I'm strong, right? You are strong. Not at rock climbing. <laughs> I mean, I don't even make it halfway. Maybe it's one of those things that like you have to, like it's strategically, so we'll figure it out. We're just gonna go in there and roll a dog it. BRB, see you soon. See you I soon. gotta get dressed. You don't wanna be feeling very swaggy. <laughs> something and question your gayness a little bit like if I was really gay wouldn't I be able to climb these rocks where's the survivor in me <laughs> oh baby oh. <gasps> fall safely Is this the kind of stuff that sober people get into? Because really when I was up there, I felt an adrenaline rush just like a drug. I mean, it was crazy. Now Holland's about to do it. Once you get up there, it's tall. It was Skype scary. Is this what having hobbies is? Okay, what so up, what up? I didn't bring another battery for the camera, so the camera died, which was unfortunate, but 
We almost did too, guys. I don't know if you saw the last one. <laughs> I mean, I guess, oh, we, we record on your phone. Yeah. But that first one I went on and then I got on top of the thing. I didn't realize that you didn't have to climb down. They kind of have, well, they have like an easy climb down route um, on the other side. And so I nearly lost my life. It was very scary. It was very, that was a very scary one at first to do because like immediately I couldn't see where my feet were going. Yeah. Um, but so with that being said, I originally was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like I am very scared. But I started to feel like after falling a few times from a higher like height, I was like, okay, you're Spider Woman. Like, I can like take I can take some risks here. <laughs> um, and so we were easily influenced, and we now have memberships. They're open from like six a.m. to eleven p.m. So it's like to us, we're like, if we go four times, well, no, they took off today's day pass for our membership. So really, we had to go. We have to go three times in a month, and there's such ample opportunity to do it and they're so like especially knowing that they're open from 6 a.m to 11 p.m it can work any day like we can go again tonight after dinner if we wanted to yeah. but we were so easily influenced that we also bought shoes um i'll show you these are what the bad boys look like <laughs> swag on 10 mm. um and then we got a chalk bag come on we're gonna share because lovers yeah and then we got the chalk that goes in the bag um we also took our membership pictures together together they did like we had to take two of them and so i stood on one side and then we switched and i you took it on this side lovers gay. It it get gay this is the problem um that people don't talk about is that it is the pipeline you come out and then 10 years later you have a wife and a happy home and you're fucking rock climbing it is a slippery damn slope on the rainbow it's road. Some strong arms. <laughs> Dude, I think we need to take before and after pictures. Because I mean, my, okay, maybe we should take them separately so, <laughs> so somebody doesn't feel as bad. Here's my me. before. Okay, I didn't really want you to go first because now I have a lot to cut. Okay. <laughs> Here's me. Here's Let's my see. before. No, <laughs> we don't no have arms. That. Here's my. No, I want to see. Show me your big muscles. Yep. Nice. I am tattooed, so uh, maybe I'll get just tattoo a muscle on there. <laughs> that might be a lot easier. So okay, yeah. you know what, Allie? In the future, this is an inspiration <laughs> video. I hope my uh, after just looks like Holland's damn before. <laughs> The Bel Airs officially have a hobby that's even gayer. You guys thought that was it? I'm also excited because we get to do this together and like learn something brand new together. Yeah, yeah it was like fun. That. I think that Holland and I, you know, My hands hurt. I mean, obviously we talk about how we never fight and like how our relationship <laughs> has been so easy, knock on wood. Um, but like it is really fun and... Um, I mean, I just can't say enough about how nice it is to be with somebody who it's fun to learn a new experience with. And like, it's, it's okay to fail and succeed and you want them to be there for, for your successes, you know? Yeah. And even like, if it's something small like rock climbing, like it is really, it's easy and it's nice. I'm probably going to get a snack. Make it home some lunch and then Holland's going to take a nap and then we'll catch up with you later because we have to get dressed for whatever this event thing is tonight. We'll yeah. let you know. I might take a shower, but I worked out and did the rock climbing, so probably a little stinky. Okay, okay. we'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Good evening. I took a very long nap, and I was very, very tired, but I am now freshly showered, and I'm getting ready for our dinner. How are you? I'm good. I'm trying to figure out which jacket I want. It's hard. It's hard because I want to wear a hat of some sort, and I have Doc Martens on and Converse. And you just have you have to play it down in the right ways, and you have to build it up in the right ways. And these were my options. Such different options. Black. I hate wearing all black though. It's like have some fun. Um, this workwear jacket, and then a Levi's jean jacket.
What will you do? Let me go look at this. Okay, fine, I'll show you. Ignore my catastrophe in the back. But this is it, it's just a wife pleaser, a little corduroy jacket, some dickies. I might switch, I might switch to dress pants. And Converse. Okay, so I went, I don't know what I was filming in. I think I had this dress on, but I'm wearing these stuff Martins. I just have a black purse from Target. Holland's gonna end up taking this jacket, so I'm not sure. No, I'm gonna put my, hey, <laughs> I'm gonna put my big black jacket. This is the fit. I don't know what we're doing, and I don't know where oh, we're going. Yeah, I need to preface. This isn't just any dinner. It's like an organized, we have no idea who, what, when, where, and why. Yay, okay, we'll see what happens. We'll let you know. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Hello. We steak was delicious and the peanut butter chocolate chip cookies were delicious too. We just got finished with dinner. It's 1030. We are driving home. I am so full. They gave me the bit. Their serving of the butternut squash pasta was insane. It was Am like I want to drive over this? Yeah. It's it's heated. steam. It's just steam. Okay. It's steam. Girl, me too. <laughs> the steam. <laughs> Our car detected the steam as an object. Anyway, the pasta was really good. Dinner was fun. We got to meet a bunch of. It's a bunch of Pittsburghy influencers and some are on like youtube and some are on instagram and some are on whatever and as a so like as a very socially awkward and anxious person i actually had a lot of fun and people were very nice uh like i don't know how to carry a conversation so i never want to be the one to have to carry the conversation but i have my best friend with me extra foot my wife extra so foot life's easy um yeah holland like holland we go into these events or whatever and i am the just conversation starter in this family but then we go home and holland is going to have so many thoughts about every person and every comment and every thing that happened during it and my social battery is going to be at zeros and hers is going to be at a thousand She's yeah, because I didn't like, say anything. I actually felt like I did a good job. You did do a great um, job. I do kind of, I don't grade myself, but I'm, I'm like, how did that social interaction go? Like, I think about it. Um, it's not to put anybody else at like a, you don't have a ranking. It's more about me. <laughs> Holland, is, Holland is ranking herself <laughs> on how good of a conversation she had. Yeah. Colin, you did really good. You did Today, good. I'm giving myself a thumbs up. Come on. This is it. That was our day. I hope that you had fun watching. If you're struggling, I hope whatever weight you're carrying gets a little bit easier to carry. And I'm glad that you're here. I hope I see you again tomorrow. Ditto. Rachel. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Miss you, Rachel and Abby, though I really, really do.